Uh, the POE actual tab on this will show you what your power budget currently is running at, like how much your consumption is. Oh, I'm sorry. This switch is 125 watts. Uh, that's the maximum there that shows on the screen. But it will show you in live, it, it, you know, in in actual live feedback, how many watts are being drawn down. Very specific, actually. They say six up here, but it's 5.7 actually is what's really being drawn, which is handy. And it tells you how much is going out on which port. And so if I were to plug in a camera, let's do that now. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to plug in a P100 and we're going to give it some time to actually like kind of get going. And then I'm just going to refresh this screen and we will see how much on port one, how much power is being drawn. So it's in the boot up cycle now. So let's go ahead and refresh this. There we go. 11.9 watts are being drawn down or we'll say 12 just to be equal. And again, we have this little handy meter here that says, okay, you're using 18 watts out of your 125 budget. Um, now this is not maximum. This is current. And so you need to know that if you are drawing down, this is the current drawdown. Now, if I, if I take that P100, I start steering it around, it's going to draw down more power than just, you know, the, the 12 watts that it's currently taking. And so don't take that as the P100 only takes 11.9 watts. It currently needs 11.9 watts as it sits idle. But it needs more than that if you move the, the motors and that sort of thing. So the general rule is for cameras, budget 30 watts. You'll be safe. If you for the P100, the P110, 120, for the P200, the P400, and the P4K, budget 30 watts. Okay. For the A200 and A300, you need a budget 97 watts, and that need you need to be able to output that on the port, which means that you probably need an injector. Um, we're testing some right now, but that's for a different show. So, uh, anyways, the PoE tab for you users is really handy because it tells you uh, what class PoE you're, you're running and it also tells you um, what actual wattage is being used in this moment. So uh, that's really handy and you can just refresh this and it will check again. See, 11.6, so it changes. You know, 5.8, uh, it's changing a little bit because we've got both of our, you know, studio and our P100 are currently up and running off of this switch, getting 85 address. 